Kings. It's all anybody can talk about these days. The playoff drought is over, and they're going to be watched closer than ever, certainly locally and nationally. It's really exciting, and if you've been around a while, you know they've created legendary moments that are talked about for years to come. ABC 10's Marcus Allen is in Sacramento's downtown Commons area, and Mark, uh, you got a chance to speak with one of the King's more well-known players. Yeah, and through the years have had a chance to become friends with him as he reaches out relentlessly to help the community. No more beloved Sacramento Kings player is there than this guy. Take a look. Number 21, Harold Presley. Harold Presley, not just Sacramento Kings famous, he's basketball history famous, having been a part of the greatest upset in NCAA history. Harold Presley. Soon thereafter, joined the Kings after playing, made Sacramento his permanent home. Since retiring from the NBA, he's dedicated much of his life to charitable outreach, helping underserved youth, now helping refugees and others find a pathway to a diploma and citizenship. As the Kings gear up for the playoffs, I thought I'd get his unique big picture perspective. Is your phone blowing up and your social media blowing up? People asking you, how are we going to do this time? My phone is blowing up because people are calling asking me to get them tickets. I need tickets. What's the best thing about being a Sacramento King? Oh, this is so simple. The people, the people of Sacramento are so wonderful. I knew from the first time, 1986, when I got off the plane, before I got back on the plane to go to Villanova, I said I was going to live in Sacramento for the rest of my life. And you know, there are very few kings that have given back as relentlessly to this community for their whole life, let alone within the kings as you. So a good time to talk about Highland Started. There are marginalized people that have given up their shot at getting a high school diploma. You're giving them that shot. We've had a 94-year-old graduate just this past year. We had a 64-year-old prom queen. As long as you have a desire, we can help you in every way get yourself a U.S. high school diploma. And there he is. Look how passionate he is talking about helping other people. By the way, if you want a gateway to helping someone that might need to get their high school diploma, I'll link you towards his scholarship program. Uh, on another sidebar, did you notice he was holding a beverage? He's always trying to help people. There's a Russian immigrant, a young woman who started her own beverage company, and he was going to give a shout out to that. And I said, that's a whole other story. We'll book that next week. Back to you guys. <laughs> light the beam! <laughs> yeah, we want to see them light the beam, and they may do it for sure on Sunday when they play the Spurs. All right, Marcus Allen, thank you.